Leave this out of the vlog. Oh. Gonna get a sweet chalai dip and a barbecue dip. This is actually a five or six bedroom HMO. She's trying to get the ball by the horns. Extremely busy week for me at LN Capital. Honestly, guys, I need properties to buy. I need to find six deals. Myself and my JV partners, we need six deals to buy. So the pressure's on right now, but hey, I work really well under pressure. So that's my situation. So that's the main focus for this week. Right now, we're going to grab some food and then we're going to go check out my seven bed HMO. I'll talk you guys through that deal and then we've just got our jump out this week. So stay tuned. Right guys, so this property right here, this was actually a five or six bedroom HMO. I uh, really wanted to buy it guys, but someone's just bought it. This is a real life property guys. Oh, that don't look right. <laughs> That's not right guys. This can't be right. I need to redo this. Guys, if you want to see the full transformation of this property, then click on the link in the description and check out that video because I've done a full detailed video of this deal. Very interesting deal, seven bed HMO. So yeah, check that out. What's good guys? So just one other thing that's going on as well. I've got seven refinances that are currently going through at the moment, but the lender is taking ages. So you can imagine how stressful that is, guys. Once they're done, it's gonna be happy days guys because all of the numbers are looking healthy on all of my deals and i've been getting a lot of good valuations lately so i'm very confident in the in the end vows that we're gonna get so should be all good once those refis go through um all of my jv partners will be receiving big chunks of money coming back into their bank account so yeah that's one of the best feelings when a refi comes through so we've got seven of those going through guys hopefully the lender hurries up and gets done what they need to get done and we can get those um, cash in the bank. So yeah. And uh, I got the rental income, which is about, uh, is the rental income 3,240, 5,000 pounds from Harmony Let? Yeah, that's correct, mate, yeah. yeah. So you got a net profit about 4,627. Oh, yeah. that's good. All right, mate, thank you so much, mate. Cheers, thank, thank you, bye-bye. Okay, guys, so basically, good news. Just doing some accounts and we can take some money out of one of the business accounts, which is great because I wasn't sure if we could, but we can. So happy days, guys. Time to get paid. I'm just doing some editing right now. As you can see, we're working on a vlog right here for St. Lucia. Me and my magical team, we've been working hard on this. And look, look at this, guys. Wow. Come on. But enough of that, guys. Stay tuned for that video. Top things to do in St. Lucia. What they put in the um, fertilizer on this land here, but it actually stinks, guys. What? Oh. What? Oh, my gosh. Guys, I have to do the window up. Horrible. Right, guys, so we're just about to meet with a build team, and then the lady from one of the social housing providers is coming down to meet us on site. So, this is the property right here. This one. done but there's just a few a few things that the provider wants um us to do so we just wanted to meet her in person to basically find out what what she needs to be done so that's what we're doing obviously this provider we don't want to put bed sheets or anything on it so that's kind of what we're doing um so it doesn't look the best but it is what it is it's annoying because that that was not an easy Thing, so was that not existing? And then on his feed, um, your YouTube thing came up uh, on his property. Oh man, like, they got me on the radar. It's actually really weird. It's actually really weird. It's famous. <laughs> <laughs> it's <is> famous. <laughs> um, I'm just getting a bit concerned, like, about the, the deal, you know? Of course, yeah. All right, I'll, um, I'll drop her an email to call you back as soon as she's um, off her lunch. Yeah. Is it this number that's best for you? Yes, mate, yeah. Right, guys, basically, I'm trying to get, I'm trying to move house. I'm trying to find, like, a nice place to live, right? It's the place I'm at now is nice, but it's just a little bit small, so I'm trying to get a better place. But basically, I found a really nice one. Um, it's like a penthouse in Nottingham. 
really lovely property. Needs a bit of TLC, a bit of love, a bit of uh, LN Capital touch. But I don't know if it's gonna happen or not. But guys, wait and see. Stay tuned, I'll let you guys know how it goes. Right guys, so basically, I own this property right here. This one, this white one. But right now we're actually going to meet the socializing provider for this property over here. Again, some changes that we need to make. Um, nothing crazy, I hope. So, um, yeah, what, what's the situation with it? We just need the completed application from Square properly. Right, so as soon as I do that, then I can get the place? Yeah, in theory, yeah. In theory, okay. All right, that's great. I'll get that done right away. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Bye bye. We'll have to see you guys, hopefully we get it. Good man, so yeah, I've just man. been on site today, so I was just in one of the properties, so yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've spent about 20 days making this YouTube video about St. Lucia. Yeah, I'll have, to, I'll have to give it a watch. I watched your other video the other day. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna say Selectanos. Five chicken Selectanos. Hello? All I wanted was some chicken Selectanos. What happens? I get blanked. I know I shouldn't really be in McDonald's eating unhealthy. My trainer, if they watch this, they're gonna kill me. But guys, I'm not being funny, but what is a hot cross bun pie? Why have they made that like hot cross bun pies? Come on. Who's ordering that? You've got to be a bit of a sicko. Hi, uh, please can I get five chicken selectanos? Uh, would like sauce? Uh, can I get a sweet chalai dip? Yep, anything else. And a barbecue dip? What was that, sorry? Barbecue dip. Yep, anything else? Sweet chalai dip. Barbecue sauce. Who was last week you said, sorry? Bur barbecue sauce. A double cheeseburger? No, barbecue sauce. BBQ. Barbecue sauce. Please, yeah. That's it, thank you. Guys, you know what it is? You've got to have a bit of fun in life, mate. If you don't laugh, you'll cry. You've got a stressful life, mate. We'll have a bit of fun here and there. One, there's two application forms. We filled out one of them, but not the second one. I think we filled out both because we sent the last one. Uh... Did we fill out both? Did we forget to send one of them out? All right, that's great, Diane. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. I'll speak to you later on. <laughs> is everything else all right, yeah? All right, Diane. Um, I was just calling to see if you were still looking for rental properties in and around the Nottingham area. Um, I am, but I do have an application in with you guys. Ah, uh, yes, I think I spoke to you earlier. Just one moment, please. Cheeky buggers trying to sell me more houses. I'm already trying to buy one, get one off them. I'm trying to rent one off them. They're trying to give me more options. You cheeky bugger trying to rent me more houses. Hi, right, thanks for holding. So Sorry. other than... The I've got nothing else which is within your criteria at the moment. I've just had a quick look online. Um, but obviously I know Amber's dealing with your application for that, so she'll keep you updated, okay? All right? Yeah, cheers, Mark. Perfect. All right, no worries. Cheers, Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Guys, realistically, where else can you find a free bed, two bath, that location with a swimming pool and a gym for that price? You just can't. Right, guys, so very productive day. Met with a build team. Met with um, one of the social housing providers, which was great. They wanted us to add a corridor to one of the areas. They wanted us to change a lot of the windows to escape windows. So we're gonna do that as well. And then just some other small bits, which we're gonna do as well. So lots of work for us to do, but it's all worth it because once we let the properties to social housing providers, it's the most passive form of income I've ever made. So it's honestly, it's a game changer of social housing. So anyway, stay with me for the rest of this week. Guys, it's Wednesday, it's 12 o'clock Wednesday. Just finished training, beat some personal records today on shoulder press. Crib's a bit messy guys, but cleaning's coming tomorrow. Guys, we've just got a lot going on. Obviously I'm buying seven properties right now, so there's a lot going on. I'm also buying seven and I'm refinancing seven, so you can imagine guys, there's a lot going on. However, I'm made for this, I'm built for this stuff guys. This is what I do, this is my work, this is my business. So guys, this rum right here, this is the best rum a man would ever taste. Honestly, this is spiced rum made in St. Lucia on a Caribbean island, St. Lucia. If you do want to check out my video on St. Lucia, click this link right here. I recommend you check it out guys, it's a nice holiday spot if you need a break. This rum is called Chairman's Reserve, so 
Sponsor me. Chairman's Reserve, sponsor me. Hey, how are you doing? You alright? Right guys, it's Wednesday evening. I'm still enjoying this car, E53. I'm happy with the purchase. It's got a function which I just discovered and it's called uh, whiplash. So look. Pretty cool guys. Just got a burger and they put mushrooms in my burger. What's going on with that? Why are they gonna put mushrooms in my burger? They said, right, what does the burger come with? Gherkins, tomato, lettuce, cheese. They did not say mushrooms, guys. I don't like mushrooms. I bit into it. <clears throat> it was dark. I looked. I put the flash on my phone and I had a look and I was like, what is this? I don't like mushrooms. Anyway, that ruined my meal. Anyway, other than that, guys, life right now is pretty good, guys. Life is sweet like a lemon because it's also bittersweet because I'm dealing with some stress right now. But nothing I can't handle, guys. Stay tuned to find out what's going on. Guys, all I would say is, I don't know how I do it. And I'm not picking myself up. I'm just saying, to deal with the amount of stuff I've dealt with this week is pretty crazy, guys. It's pretty crazy. So, hats off to myself and my team because we're doing great, guys. It's like running a property portfolio. It's like there's a bull and you're just trying to get the bull by the horns. You know, you're trying to control the ball, but it feels hard sometimes, but you just gotta get your hands around the portfolio and control it. That's what it feels like. Right guys, it's Thursday, and I'm about to bang out one of the last sessions of the week. I've got my bin bags right here. All right guys, right now, we're just on the way to the barbershop. I need a fresh trim in order for me to perform my highest capabilities. We're talking high performance mindset, guys. I need a fresh trim. So when you look good, you feel good. When you feel good, you perform good. When you perform good, you close deals. When you close deals, you make more money. Barbershop first, then we're gonna go and shoot the seven bed HMO because we fully finished that. And then straight after that, guys, um, I've got a lot of stuff to do. Um, I need to review some deals. I need to speak to a social housing provider. We're in Nottingham City right now. You know what, guys? This city, yeah, it's a good city, but I'll be honest with you, because I've lived in this city for so long, it does get a little bit boring sometimes. However, as long as I get my holidays, I'm good. I don't mind living here. Hey, look. Labels blowing up my line and got me missing calls. Told her you ain't gotta hit me till you licking. Feel like Xavier, baby, I be cooler than the mink weather Make a coke bottle, give me brain till I think better Back up on my again, hanging out with Benjamin Franklin got me stankin' in the lake and talking dividends Look at what we did again, brought the water dipping in Down in Texas on them elbows, where your digits been? All these I can smell it through the audio Lapping everybody got me working on my cardio Party over daddy home, creeping out the caddy cold Welcome to 10 Minutes of Balance You will be familiarized with how to remain present while driving Or when going about day-to-day -day business By concentrating on the moment, your breathing and the tension of your body You will become more attentive and aware How do you perceive your breath? My breath feels pretty good, guys. Where do you feel your breathing movements? I feel it like in my lungs and like, you know, in my mind. A little bit. Yeah, everywhere, really. What are your thoughts right now? My thoughts are I need to find some more deals. I need to get some more deals secured. And How is your mood? My mood's pretty good. Just had a trim, obviously, you know, fresh trim and that. What's going on guys? Right now we're about to go and film this seven bedroom HMO. We're gonna do a full walkthrough, detailed numbers breakdown. You can find that video right here. Just had a really good uh, conversation with a new social housing provider. I have actually worked with them before, but they've now reached back out and it's looking good guys, it's looking positive. So right here guys, this is when I was featured in the Property Hub magazine, cutting through the red tape because basically one of my deals nearly went completely left when I was early on in my journey. And this is all about that deal. So yeah, Property Hub Magazine, shout out to you guys. So guys, you may notice the camera quality has increased dramatically. And that's because we just bought um, one of the top of the range cameras because we are invested in this YouTube game. We're really trying to pick up 
our YouTube game. I love YouTube way more than all other platforms. So if you're following me on here, this is the place to get the best content. Okay, so shout out to all my subscribers who have been doing YouTube for six years. Love it. So yeah, let's keep going. It's a lovely day out here in sunny Spain. Guys, as we can see, we're right next to the football stadium, the Forest football stadium. Big shout out to Forest. So the property is right next to here. So the property, seven bed HMO, situated right next to the Nottingham Forest football stadium. All my Forest fans, big shout out to you. Right guys, so right now we're about to go and film inside this property. This is probably our last chance to film it guys because it's about to get let out, so. Right guys, grim day, but hey, we're cracking on. Let's lock this door behind us. Guys, come and check this out. So basically, in a HMO, you don't really want this. You don't really want that, guys. What you want to do is you want to have a thumb lock like this because tenants, they won't lock the doors in the HMOs. So that's one thing we need to change straight away. <sighs> guys, problems after problems this week. The, the lights ain't turning on, innit? Go and see what's going on here. Let's try now. Oh yeah, they're on, they're on. Hi mate, you all right? Yeah buddy, how you doing? You yeah, good? good, good man. So I just want to give a massive shout out to Mortgage Style. If you guys need a mortgage broker, they're the best brokers in the whole of the UK. Check out the link in my description for their contact details. Honestly guys, they are the best. Right guys, just in the games room of the seven bed HMO. It's not finished yet, but I just got a nice call from one of the social housing providers, really great guy. He's a new provider I've been working with. And yeah, exciting times guys. So yeah, we're just filming this project in detail. Yeah, this is the games room. Nothing crazy, but you know, we've got a little shitty pool table. It's all right guys, you know, it's a little something for the tenants, so yeah. <laughs> What's going on guys, right now I'm on my way to Manchester, got a few things to do over there and I'm staying in a nice hotel over there as well so that should be cool and yeah just gonna get some relaxed time but mainly Gotta go there, handle business, and then come back tomorrow because tomorrow I'm doing my site day. Now, a site day, guys, for those of you that haven't seen my other site day videos, what I do is I take uh, my mentees that are on my training and mentorship program, I take them to three to five of my different HMO projects and HMO conversions. So, super exciting. Can't wait to catch up with some of the guys that I've been mentoring. Just excited to catch up with everyone and show them the projects. Right guys, so this is my fridge. As you can see guys, I've got these meal preps right here. So this one is from Prep Kitchen. Blackened chicken pasta with fava bean. <laughs> this is what I eat guys, right? Um, I've got a load of these. I've got a little Coke Zero right here. I might, I'm gonna take that one with me actually. Take this one with me guys. I've got my suitcase right here. Bin bag, which I need to take out. Let's go guys. I've got a really exciting weekend, guys, because I've got some important stuff to do in Manchester, some meetings, and also I've got um, a mentoring session today at two o'clock, so that's gonna be good. And on Saturday, I've got a site day, which I'm gonna do, so that's gonna be good as well, so stay tuned. Right, guys, so this is the E53, right? Now, I've got this car. I do like it, yeah. I love it, actually. It drives really well. Oh, have I scratched my rims? I don't know, but this is it guys. Should I do a detailed car review on this car? What do you guys think? Should I do it? Would anyone like to see that? Comment below if you do. Now guys, people that have been following me for a while, you guys will know that I was never really doing the education stuff. I was never really training people on property. But you know what? I used to get so much messages that I just felt like I needed to do it. So I teamed up with Sean. Reason being is because Sean does rent to rent, rent to social housing, and he's got over 72 deals, guys. One of the main reasons why I linked up with Sean to do the education stuff and training and mentoring people is basically because I realized that for a lot of people, the BRR method is just not viable because they might only have like 10K or 20K. So they don't have enough to do a BRR deal, but what they do have 
is they've got enough to kind of get started in property. So that's why I did that, guys, because if you want to do the rent to social housing strategy and you are kind of starting out in property, then it's a really good strategy, guys, to start out with. So I thought there's no point in me teaching something which I don't do myself. So that's why I teamed up with Sean. So Sean teaches our mentees on the rent to social housing side and I teach the BOR side. But guys, when I'm doing a long journey, the first thing I do, right, is I go to Starbucks. Bit of a tradition. So I go to Starbucks. <laughs> I'm joking, it's not a tradition, but I just love Starbucks, guys. I go to Starbucks, get myself a nice little ice latte, large, and yeah, just crack on with my day, really. Go do my travels, go do what I gotta do. I do perform well off coffee. I think it might be because I'm diagnosed with ADHD and coffee just really helps me, guys. But guys, there's one thing I'll say is basically, with the training and mentorship side, I do love it, you know, like, I didn't know if I was gonna enjoy it. To be honest, when we launched it, I was like, I was thinking, let's give it a go, let's see if I enjoy it. But guys, I honestly love it so much, like, helping people to reach their property goals gives me a different level of satisfaction and purpose. So like, some of our mentees are killing it right now, and it's just lovely to see, guys. That What can I get for you? Hi, please can I get a large ice latte? Yeah. Actually, I'll try the toasted vanilla, uh, venti. You want the toasted vanilla instead, yeah? Yeah, please, yeah. Anything else for you? That's it, thank you. Thank you, come on for me. Cheers, bye bye. Gotta have a bit of fun in life, guys. Right, guys, right now, I'm about to do a mentoring session. Up on the screen right here. I'm so excited to hear what my mentees have been up to. But in the meantime, we're still talking about things and yeah. planning ahead. Guys, Edwardian Hotel, Manchester, fully recommend. Sponsor me. Let's try going on guys it's saturday the 30th of march it is 12 30 p.m and we're about to start the site date for some of our mentees that are on our training and mentorship program that myself and sean davis run so i'm gonna go and check out three of my different projects then we're gonna go and grab food after should be cool guys stay tuned remember like comment subscribe <laughs> Fresh trim, you know. Yeah, Fresh trim. <laughs> yes, that's Oh, appreciate it, bro. Yeah, appreciate it. Yeah. Welcome, everybody, to the site day. Put your hand up if you're looking to make more money. Yeah, that's me. Put your hand up if you want to make passive income. Well, hey, this is what this day is all about, guys. It's about the inside tips on what really goes on with BRR social housing projects. So welcome, guys. We've done something new in this one, which is the LED strips. This is a new thing that I tried out. So Ainsley, if you just press that button down there, please. Yeah, that's for the light. Right, guys, it's a bit of a drive, but it'll be worth it when we get there. Keen to show you guys this one. See you there, yeah? So mm. I think 
in my opinion, it's by far the best strategy. It's one of the hardest strategies to start out with because it takes so long to learn about property and about what makes a deal, how yeah. to find a deal, how to stack the numbers, mainly the numbers, man. Because if you're sourcing a deal to somebody and you can't even provide them with a detailed spreadsheet on the actual numbers, then mm. you're not really sourcing. You're just literally just going on right move and finding a link and sending it. So I don't know. I just think that also finding investors that are going to trust you to find them a deal when you've got no experience or anything, you don't have any properties under your belt. I just don't think it's the best way to start in property. And I think it, people make it out like it is because it's the lowest barrier to entry. You don't need any money to start resourcing. Mm. And that's why people sell courses on the back of it to basically say that, buy the course, we'll teach you sourcing, but nah. Right guys, we're here, we're just wrapping up the site day. The final thing of the site day is we're gonna go eat at the beef meal. Now guys, I'll be honest with you, we left it a bit last minute to the food spot. So it's a bit limited at the end. I'm not sure how this place is, but we're gonna find out guys. Sean's just charging his car right here. Well, yeah, guys, we're just gonna go grab some food, catch up. People might have some more questions that they've got for us. So let's, let's get into it. It literally changed my life. Like to be able to leave my employer start multiple businesses and build relationships and as I said I wasn't planning to go on any holidays, I wasn't planning to go anywhere, I was planning to just stay and work hard this year, rat race. Hey, rat race. <laughs> <laughs> and obviously now, what you um, mortgages, so I was a mortgage oh, no. advisor but for a lender but now to be able to physically finance myself, it's insane. To talk about that I like to do it, so why these other hungry going through it? You see me thumbing through these hunters, getting to it.